Hi, I'm Amy. I made a sort of joke about vlogging a day in my life on Twitter. Lots of people said that was a good idea. So here we go. So this is me getting ready this morning and this is the copy of the Thursday Murder Club. I'm going to go drop off to the post office this morning for my gran. I am indeed running a little bit late for work. You may also be able to hear the sound of the man with the AstroTurf flattening machine. Um, I do live next to a school. You may hear him throughout the day. If you hear screaming, that is also from the school and not from my flatmates. Okay. Uh, this is me on the move. I'm not really going to film myself in public because I'm still a little bit embarrassed about the fact that I am doing this. I will see you in a second. Okay, so I am back from the post office. I have just turned my laptop on. My porridge is ready. I'm going to go through some emails. It's now 9.20 um, just quickly before work starts. So I'm all caught up for the day. <laughs> Okay, so my initial run at my emails is done. Um, I'm now gonna show you my calendar for the day and my ever lengthening to-do list. <laughs> so you see roughly what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so this is my schedule for today, 24th of November, 2020. Um, as you can see, I've scheduled in some time for myself to organize some couriers to make sure I remember to do that this morning. I then have a catch up with the lovely ladies from the nonfiction team. Those are assistants and assistant editors. Um, then I have a catch up with my boss at 11.30. I have the non-fiction away day part two at two, um, which is, you know, over Zoom and not away, but the principle remains. And then I will be slightly late to the fiction editorial meeting, which starts at three. Um, so as you can see, actually, a lot of my afternoon is going to be taken up. So I'm going to be super duper efficient this morning. When I say super duper efficient, I am positively manifesting it into the universe that I'm going to be super duper efficient today, like always, if my boss is watching. So this is my very exciting to-do list. First up, I've got to order two couriers, one to the UK and one to the US. And then I've got to figure out another address so I can send another courier. And then I've got to put together the agenda for the fiction meeting I mentioned earlier for this afternoon. Then I have got to double check that I've sent off all the prize applications I need to. I need to send off the picture permissions for a book that's going to print this week. I need to approve some invoices and I need to schedule a meeting. Get started on those couriers I've been talking about all morning and then I am going to work through that to-do list. I also need to get these things to an author for Thursday. Um, so that's also quite exciting, it needs to be done. Okay, so I am now putting together the fiction editorial meeting agenda. Unfortunately, I can't show you any more details on what we'll be discussing than that. So the fiction editorial meeting happens once a week. For us, it happens on a Tuesday and it's a meeting of the whole fiction team. That includes everyone from the head of fiction to editorial directors and publishers right down to me, the assistant. Um, and we discuss things like the submissions that editors have been receiving, that assistants and everyone in between will have been reading, um, things that are under offer. So that's when an editor offers money to buy a book. Um, things we have decided not to offer on, um, etc, etc. Um, there's also other things to discuss like prizes that need entering or things like will the office ever open, ever. I'm joking, it will open, uh, it's just, you know, current restrictions. Um, and other things similar to that. Or for example, if there is a cover briefing coming up, that's when an editor or whoever is in running a book will come up with a brief for designers on what they would like the cover to look like, which is quite fun, actually. Okay, so I also have a quick catch up with the girls from nonfiction. So that's all the assistants and assistant editors. It's ostensibly to discuss things that are going in the nonfiction team but also just quite nice to see them, really. Hi. Okay, so that quick meeting is over. Um, my to-do list has somehow grown in length in that time. Um, so I've got 20 minutes before I catch up with my boss, so I'm going to try and bash out some more of my to-do list. <laughs> Okay, so I have organised that courier. Actually, my boss is going to figure out that address for me. The agenda is ready. I have double checked the prizes, so that's great. I need to send those picture permissions. I've approved the invoices. I've scheduled that. 
I have now decided I need to check something about that manuscript. Um, I have approval on that book from Roland um, and now I have a few more things to do. Well, somehow we have made it to lunchtime. My to-do list is now looking a little bit better than it was earlier. Um, this afternoon I still have quite a lot to do, but I won't have time to do it until about four o'clock-ish because I have the non-fiction away day, which is being done over Zoom. And then I have the fiction editorial meeting, which I'll be missing the first half of in order to go to the non-fiction thing. Um, the reason those things are overlapping is because most people are not in both teams, there's a fiction team and a non-fiction. Um, but one of my bosses, Roland, along with um, some other editors and other assistants, do exist at both teams, so we thought it swim between the two. Um, and then this afternoon I will just finish off my studio. I take it back, I got distracted by some emails, so I'm now going to have my lunch. But if it's useful, do let me know in the comments if it would be good to go through different tasks like picture permissions, illustrative reference rights. Um, they're not the most important part of the job, but they are something that you would have to do as an editorial assistant. Um, so let me know if you would. Hi everyone, um, I just finished up my lunch and I have a few emails that have come in over lunch time so I'm just going to try and quickly finish those before we start our non-fiction away day at 2 because I really hate being that person who's clearly on their emails in a Zoom meeting. Not that I'm saying I do do that, but if I were to do that I would be ashamed of it. Hello, it's now quarter to five. I've just come out of my second fiction ed meeting. I've had a really lovely afternoon in that I've gotten to see both teams, which I don't get to do every day, especially when I'm working from home. But I am now very tired and very sick of looking at a screen. Um, so I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea before I start finishing off my to-do list. Uh, I'm back with water, stay hydrated kids. Um, I am just going to try and finish off a few things on my to-do list. A few more have popped up, as was expected during the, <laughs> the two and a half hours of meetings from people who weren't in those meetings. Um, so I'm going to organise some couriers, I'm going to send myself a new submission to read on my Kindle, um, and then probably read it in my comfy chair after work finishes at 530 it is now the following morning, as evidenced by my change of pastel coloured jumper. Um, last night I did send myself a submission to read. I'm not expected to read a whole book overnight, but to read a decent chunk of it if it's something that I'm meant to be reading. Um, so I read about 20% of that before I went to bed. And I can say I read 20% because on the Kindle there's a very handy percentage checker, um, which you can use to, to read anything, including Word documents. So this morning I'll be writing a little report on Slack probably um, for my boss just to say whether I did or didn't like it and whether or not I recommend reading it. Um, if I enjoy a book then I'll try and finish it as well as sending it on to someone to say that they should read it too. Um, and I think that pretty much concludes a day in my life. If you found this interesting that would be great if you could let me know in the comments. If you didn't, also fine. Um, but if there's anything at all interesting or useful I can give to you, especially if you're looking to get into publishing, um, let me know in the comments if that, whether that be like how I got into publishing, how other people I know got into publishing, um, a QA, and a anything more that I missed out today, just let me know. I just want to be as useful as possible, honestly. Um, thanks everyone.